YouTube, it is Sharon Shante. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for watching. As usual, you know what I'm going to say. Please make sure you are liking, subscribing, commenting, and all the other good stuff. So as y'all can see, I have changed up my background a little bit. So instead of my normal, I am kind of like doing a nice little girl chit chat. Um, being comfy, like, you know, want this to be a little bit more intimate. So I'm talking about, as y'all saw by the title, um, marriage and if I still want it. So as most of y'all know, I am divorced. And I think that one of the biggest questions that come with that, um, is so do you even want to be married still like do you want to be married again do you have you kind of like lost hope in the fairy tale or in love or in marriage and relationships and all that other good stuff and so I just felt like it was a good time to kind of like talk about that because one of the funniest things um is that I can honestly say I have not I have not lost faith in it I have not lost hope in it like I know like when I say I know sis I know that I will be married to the man that is going to just treat me the way he's supposed to treat me and love me the way he's supposed to love me and all that other good stuff that God has for me. Like, I just truly believe that it's coming. To answer that question in short, no, I haven't. Um, So I'm making this video simply because, like I said, I've been asked that question so many times and I think that as women, I think that um we kind of, we do kind of struggle with that. And I think that once you've been kind of like, let down, messed over, cheated on, taken advantage of, and all this other good stuff by men, I think it kind of sometimes could put a little bad taste in our mouths about relationships and love and men and marriage. And um, I just felt the need to show, share it from my perspective and share how I feel about it um, because I do feel very passionate about love and about marriage and all that other good stuff. But um, of course, my views have changed slightly from my experience but i haven't lost hope in it i haven't lost hope in it at all so if you watch my previous video when i was talking about divorce um one of the things that i said was i don't believe that god like pulls this person and this person is like boom y'all gonna be together i do believe that god has a lot of say in it and god is just just the way god is very strategic about everything else that happens in our life i do believe that god is very strategic about how um, how and who we end up with um, and how and who we spend the rest of our lives with. Um, but I also believe that it comes down to personal choice. It comes down to um, this free will that we have. And so I believe that it takes, it's more of responsibility on us to be in tune with Christ and to be in, in alignment with him and to make sure that we are seeking the right things um, and, and that we are going to him, to God, for the guidance and for confirmation. Um, and I believe that from there, he will make all things like, you know, kind of work out for the good. And I believe that there are um, people who are destined to be in our lives in some way, shape or form. But I do believe that we do have that free will. And it is up to us to kind of like, um, like I said, to just pursue God in a way. Because if you think about it, in order to make a decision that we know is like a destiny decision or is a decision that we know is going to affect us for the rest of our lives right um in order to make that kind of decision that's a huge life decision it would take a certain level if we wanted to really make sure we did it the right way it would take a certain level of diligence and obedience and faith in christ right do i want to be married again absolutely because sis <laughs> Like I said before, I am not about to be nobody's girlfriend for 20 years, okay? And that's my personal choice and my personal opinion and my personal feelings. And it ain't no shade to nobody out here who been, shall you do your thing, you live your life. That is another thing that I have realized. Like, it is your life, sis. You do what you want to do. You do what works for you. Like, I can't tell you what to do. And I truly believe that, um, like I said, as you pursue Christ and as you grow closer to Christ and as you do your part, God will reveal to you who and what is acceptable and who and what belongs in your life and where that fits in your life and, you know, how it's supposed to look. So whatever it is that you're doing and however you live in your life, as long as you are going to God and you are sitting at his feet and you are getting guidance and you are seeking him in every step, he will allow it all to work out and he will show you and guide you in whatever way you're supposed to go. Now, as for me, I'm not about to be nobody's girlfriend. 
them years. But I do want love and I do want to be married. And so I could only imagine what it would feel like when it's done right. And I say done right for lack of better words again, because I believe everybody's marriage goes through a lot of tests, a lot of trials, um, a lot of ups and a lot of downs. And I don't believe any marriage looks like the other. And I don't believe there's any right way to do it. I think it's all about, again, submitting yourself to Christ, submitting yourself to each other and literally pursuing Christ above all else. And he will allow everything else to kind of work itself out within your marriage and within your covenant. But when I say I have wanted to be a wife, like not even just wanted to be a wife, but just wanted to have that, like that connection with somebody and that, that level of relationship. And just to literally be basically a great example of what real love and between a man and a woman looks like. Um, and as I grew up, I started to realize that that desire was real and that desire didn't come from just the clear blue sky. I do believe that God put that desire in my heart. And for some reason, I also have this feeling that God is going to fulfill that desire in my life. Like I just genuine, genuinely believe that I will be married again. Um, and like I said, and it'll be a nice, healthy, whole marriage in Jesus name. Um, but no, and a lot of people have also asked, so like, when do you feel that you'll be ready to date again? Um, and I can honestly say, I think that for anyone, you should not be even attempt to date anyone um, until you have really, and especially if you're seriously dating someone and you're courting someone and you're looking to be married to someone, you should not be dating or entertaining anyone on that level until you have really addressed and dealt with yourself and came to a certain level of healed um of healed wholeness you know um i know it sounds kind of funny but i believe that i was getting to that place i was healing and i was becoming whole before i even got my divorce and like i said before i believe that that is what led me to the point of actually filing the papers and going through with it honestly because i had just reached this certain level of like healing and this certain level of wholeness within myself that I knew what I could no longer or what I would no longer tolerate. I knew when it was time for me to say, you know what, enough is enough. We've done this long enough and now it's time to move on. And when you're not all the way healed, or I'm not even gonna say all the way healed, but when you're not, um, when when you have a little bit more brokenness than, heal, than, than healing, um, and when you are not as whole, right? um it's easier to accept a lot and it's easier to make excuses as to why you should stay than it is to realize that you need to go and it's easier to um to just put up with and to just succumb to and i believe that that is what i was doing for years and i believe that when i got to the place of saying you know what i can walk away from this regardless of what it looks like regardless of how much it hurts regardless of what's on the other side of this when i got to that point I believe that that's when I was officially at a place of being healed enough and whole enough. And so now I do believe that, of course, once you leave, there are still other things that will resurface or there will other there's other things that will come to the surface. But I can honestly say I did not go through a heartbreak period. And I think that's because my heart was broken enough during our marriage and during our relationship so when I got out of it it felt more like freeing I was not heartbroken so I don't feel like I, I don't feel like oh I need to heal from this heartbreak I feel like my heart probably had already been mended honey all the way mended child from all that heartbrokenness and I just was like got to a point where I was like whoo child and I just did the work on myself and I really zoned in on me and my heart was healed and that wasn't me, that was God and God alone that was able to do that. It was a lot of things that I didn't have to deal with after the divorce because I had dealt, dealt with it before. You know, I will say that there are still parts of me that definitely need work. Okay, now, so there are still things that I do or still things that happen and I they're my trigger points and they trigger me and they trigger me in a special kind of way, honey. I believe that I am at the place of being able to date again and I am at a place of being able to date again and and without putting on a new person anything that my ex have done to me without carrying the weight of what he did and putting it on the next man's back without walking around with open wounds that someone else caused me and bleeding on the next. 
I am at that place. Um, one thing about me is, um, like, I just, I honestly just had to get to this place, right? Where I realized that it wasn't me. Like, everyone in life is going through their own personal struggles and personal walk and just this whole journey of evolution and growth and all this other good stuff, right? And I, I can't be in control of anybody else's journey and how what it looks like for them. And I also cannot take on the burden of whatever that journey looks like for them. And I can't be upset, but so much for what that journey looks like for them. And so unfortunately, I just so happen to be like a casualty of war if you, if, you know, so to say, so to speak. Same thing with him. He just so happened to be a casualty in my war at some point. Just because I was hurt by some actions and just because certain things transpired within our relationship and within our marriage, I, I just, I realized I can't hold on to that. I can't harbor that. I can't hold on to that or I would literally drive myself crazy. I would be basically setting myself up for failure, so to speak, and leave putting myself in a place of just being stuck. Being stuck and being trapped in brokenness basically and so when i let that go i mean i let it go like and that's a hard thing but when i let that thing go i let it go and so i feel like i am ready to date again um and what that's what that looks like i mean out here in these streets and let me also say that we have been it has been over a year now since me and my ex have been in each other's lives. So it's not like it happened like that. But even still, even like that, I kind of felt the same way. Um, not necessarily that I was like ready to be somebody's girlfriend, but I just was, I had just literally come to a place of like healed and, healed and wholeness. Like I was, I was good emotionally. I was good mentally. I was good spiritually. Basically, the way I'm going to, segue this video is like a lot of people ask me like what are you going to do or how are you going to avoid ending up in another failed marriage and child i ain't got no answer for that because i don't know i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna pray some more like lord please please jesus sweet jesus let me be making the right decision whenever i decide to commit to any man on any level just let it be the right decision. Ciao.